What parts of your game do you think you need to improve on? I think um, being fully concentrated for a whole 90 minutes instead of, you know, making silly mistakes or, you know, sometimes errors that potentially could lead to goals because if you know if you know you watch a centre back play or a defender play if, if I made a mistake then more often than not it you know results in a goal so probably just staying concentrated and have a consistent you know basic performance for you know whole game instead of just you know periods throughout. And who is your role model? At, at the club or just in general? Um, in general. In general, um, for right now I'm, I'm I've been uh, mentored over the last few years um by Andy Murray. He's gave me a lot of advice and on how to you know live your life as a as a professional athlete and as someone that's uh, been through a lot of injuries like I have, uh, there's no one really better to to give me advice. But so I'd probably say him. You know, he's played at the the top of um, tennis for for years and all the setbacks he's had, he still managed to to come through it. So that's you know probably my role model. What about you? Well, I'm saying my role model probably have to go with my dad. Aye, good question. My dad will probably. They kill me for not saying that, but I'm my dad as well. <laughs> Do you think you've changed as a player since making your debut? Yeah, yeah definitely. I think um, at the start of my my career, I was um, although it's only been about you know four years since I made my competitive debut. I feel I was you know quite rash, quite you know diving into a lot of tackles, and you know some people might say I've not changed that much, but it's always something I kind of wanted to keep in my game. But obviously with you know, big things that have happened and needed to clearly take it out. So I think over the course of the last couple of years, I've definitely tried to iron that out. And injuries probably helped me as well, that I could sit down, watch watch my game, kind of see what I needed to change. And yeah, that was definitely one thing that me and managers in the past have sat down and talked about and, and something I kind of ironed out. If you could play any other position, what would it be in life? I'd like to play centre mid. Um, I used to play centre mid like growing up at youth level a, a youth coach came in and said to me that I enjoy heading the ball too much and kicking other people to play centre mid so I have to play centre back um, so I, I'd i like to play centre mid again I think with the amount of years that I've not played there I'll see I don't, I don't know if my legs could uh, could handle a full 90 minutes but with, uh, I'd definitely give it a shot Why? Because I like to so see in training I would I'd probably go forward a lot more than what I would in a game because I'm playing defence in training. I like to go and try and score goals and, and stuff like that. I enjoy. There's nothing better than, than scoring a goal and I don't I think I've only scored one goal on my feet. I'd like to, to definitely boost the numbers up and play midfield would would help. Who is your favourite striker to defend against? Uh, hmm, that's, that's, um, probably the, the hardest one. I'd, I'd say is um, that, I, that I have played against was obviously Erlen Haaland, who's now at Dortmund. I'd, I'd played against him two times and he'd scored five goals against me. The, the guy's on a different different level. If I was to say week in, week out, I do, I do enjoy the battles with, with Morelos. Um, we've, had, we've had a good few battles in, uh, over the course of three, four years now. And sometimes he comes out on top, sometimes I do. So I've uh, I enjoyed him. He's a, he's a good player and clearly see this, this season he's him and Rangers have kicked on and, and won the league. So. I like watching them. You like, you like watching the battles? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone says that, but nah, it's um it's good, you know, he's a he's a good player and I enjoy playing up against him. When lockdown is over, where is the first place you want to go for dinner? I want to go right right to Nando's. I don't know, I know it's basic, but I just miss sitting in Nando's and that was probably my favourite place to go on a on a day off. What about you? What's your favourite thing from Nando's? Mine is definitely the holiday cheese. The halloumi cheese, probably the same actually. I I do like the the chicken thighs, but then I get cheese put on top of them, and I always get slated for that because I put cheese on my chicken. But I like it. <laughs> Who's your best mate at Hibs? We we Boyle Martin Boyle's probably my best mate. Um, I don't want to big him up too much because I'll end up getting stuck for it. But now nah, he's one of the players that you know always makes you smile every every day, and he's always. Going out his way to make people laugh, and that's the kind of people that, that I like to, to be around at the football club. Um, especially when I got injured as well, he got injured at the same time and, and really quite you know helped me through it. And he's a good player, a good professional, and, and someone that's uh, that's I think you need in and about a changing room, especially with the, just how buzzing he is. And you know he's a wee daft at times, but he's a uh, he's a good laugh. What's your favourite song to listen to right now? I like to. I, I don't know if you've actually what is it called again. I'm not. I'm not even that much into music, right? But I've got this one song that a guy called Bissett, right? I don't know if you've heard of him. He's, he's quite new. Yeah. Oh, no, you know heard of him? He's um his song called Every Single Time. 
I think it's in the charts now. It's a really good song. I have that on before in the, in the changing room and that, and some of the boys like it. So, miss it every single time. What's your favourite holiday you've been on? Probably to, to Dubai. I've been there a couple of times. I've been with my family, and then I've been, you know, been with the team as well. So, that obviously wasn't a holiday, but it was a... Uh, it was nice to get away in that, but no, Dubai is probably the best place, place yeah, I've been for. I've been going there for quite a long time. Yeah, you should, you should get one of your mum to take you there. Really, really nice. Who do you think is the best defender in the world right now? Obviously, Van Dijk is probably the best best defender in the world right now. My favourite defender to watch, been for many years, and now that he's in the Premier League, you can watch these games every week, but Thiago Silva at, at Chelsea as well, someone that I've always kind of admired growing up, and uh, now that he's in the Premier League, I can watch him week in week out. It's uh, you know, it's always a pleasure. What do you think of Ramos? Ramos is very good as well. Look, he he always scores goals. With his feet. He scores free kicks, penalties. So I'm I'm going to try and tell the gaffer that I think I should be maybe taking the free kicks as well. But I don't know how well that would go down with the other lads as well. I'll try my luck. What's your favourite moment at Ibs being so far? Maybe on a a team level. Um, you know, playing in Europe has always been a kind of dream to, to play in Europe for Hibs and then I managed to do it and we've done quite well. We were you know, quite unlucky to get put out that season. Uh, but now, you know, the best moment for me would, would be, you know, finishing third, getting Europe this this year. That would be the highlight for me if, if we can go and do that. We've put ourselves in a, a really good position and for me that would be a, a team highlight. Um, on a personal level for uh, playing and getting called up for Scotland was... Uh, was brilliant and you know I kind of that was this season and I kind of got my thank my teammates for that because we had a really good start this season and clean sheets definitely helped uh, help me getting in there so I uh, did two things. What do you do to pass time with lockdown? I played a lot of PlayStation, a lot of FIFA, a lot of Fortnite. I played a lot of Warzone, Call of Duty, really good. What about you? Do you used to play Fortnite? Yeah, we played Fortnite. Um, I think right now we're like level like 120 or something. Really? See, I was never that good. I was good when it, you didn't have to build. See, like at the start when everyone was like just running about shooting people, it was fine. But now it's like you have to build big skyscrapers to try and survive, and that's just not for me. I just like to camp in a bush and find a circle. I think I'm definitely a better Fortnite player than Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get a game of trios soon, right? Yeah, that would be good. We'll get a game of trios. Yeah. What do you think you can learn from Darren McGregor? <sighs> Probably what you... He can learn for does is the hard thing. He's just such a, a model professional. He's he's kind of taken a different path from me. Like starting his career, he started his career, you know, playing at junior level and didn't really become a professional until you know early twenties. And then he's kind of someone that I've always looked up to. You know, to kind of never give up when things things don't go your way or things don't go to plan. So uh, obviously he's played at a, a good level for years now, and he's a Hibs legend now. So he's just someone that I've always kind of looked up to, and that's another role model as well for me, as we were saying earlier. Someone that's, that's played for Hibs for years and ultimately is a club legend, along with Louis, Paul, you know, Dave as well. So I, uh, there's a lot of people that I can I can learn from and tap from in this changing room. I'm, I'm really fortunate. Since it's your birthday coming up, what do you have on your birthday list? A Scotland call up, I think. <laughs> is it me? No, nah, eh, I don't know. Um, if we can get out of lockdown as soon as possible and everyone can, can get vaccinated, that's my, my birthday list. What about, what about you, if you? What do you recommend? I've what are you for, getting me, actually? I've asked for like, a jacket and some tracksuits. I probably need that as well. Pants and socks, my mum will probably get me, and links. What kind of people were you at school? Were you Did you behave or not? Eh, I. Um, <laughs> I could see him laughing in the corner. Um, now nah, I always did behave in school. My mum was always uh, on to me to stick in, uh, just in case football never really worked out. But I, I did enjoy school. But uh, again, I kind of when I was getting on to the you know fourth year, fifth year, I kind of just did want to leave and, and play football as soon as I kind of realised that that. Yeah, I was, was definitely very good at school. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I don't> <laughs> I'm not going to stick myself in and say I wasn't well behaved. I think my mum will show it me. So, do you prefer playing at a back three or a back four? I don't. I don't have a preference. To be fair, um, I, I do like a back three. You're kind of man for man at the back. You're always covering and that. It's different kind of position, but no, I don't have a preference. I just you know enjoy playing on the park regardless of what formation it is. Probably playing in a back three that can maybe change stuff for or something in in game. But obviously, I, I don't have a, a preference. What's more important to you, winning or having fun? For me, right now, definitely winning. 
Um, if you're on a, a game of football and you're you're not enjoying it, maybe that shouldn't be the sport for you. But you, you you never enjoy getting beat. You know, you're and you're, you're always going to enjoy winning. So I think yeah, definitely winning for me is the most important thing. But I think it. At your age right now, you need you do need to be having fun when you're playing it. And if you're having fun, then you're obviously going to be learning. It's like in, in classes, but well, if you're interested in a subject at school or a class in school, you're always going to be probably they're going to be your best classes because you enjoy it and you're you're interested in it. So for you right now, I'd definitely say having fun and, and uh, trying to just enjoy it as much as possible, really. Who do you think we should interview next? Dre Wright. Dre Wright. I interviewed Dre. I he's he's a funny guy. Why? <laughs> don't know Dre. I, I quite like Dre ever since he's came in. He's he's been quite a uh, a good laugh and uh, yeah, he he should have some interesting stories. I'd imagine. Mm-hmm.